Hey, what is up guys? I'm KBHD here and this is NFC Explained. So what is NFC? Well, NFC, first of all, stands for Near Field Communication, and it's a technology that allows you to transfer small amounts of data between two NFC-enabled devices, which we'll get to in a second. And to be honest, you actually don't have to touch the devices together. It's near field, which means you can get usually within about a centimeter of the devices and they will successfully transfer the data. And there are a lot of really practical applications for it. There are also a lot of NFC enabled devices already out there. You might be watching this on one right now. And I'll have the link to those down below the like button on this video. If you have an NFC enabled phone, it'll be built into the back, usually into the battery cover or into the battery itself. So the back of the phone is where you'll find the NFC chip in your NFC enabled devices. This is an NFC tag. And inside of it is a small, thin microchip that can hold a certain amount of bytes of information, which varies per chip. But every NFC command that you write to one of these takes a small number of bytes, maybe three to five bytes per command. So you can hold multiple commands per card. So each one of these can hold a couple of commands and you can even have it tell one device to do one thing, but when another device touches it, it'll tell that device to do another thing. So you can have strings of commands on here. It's a really versatile device for just a small little microchip inside of a little plastic shell. So you can use an application like NFC Task Launcher on Android or NFC Interactor on Windows Phone. And I'm sure when the iPhone finally has NFC, there will be an app for that too. But these apps will let you read and write commands from and to the NFC tag. And so let's go ahead and do this one for example. Let's go ahead and make this the tag that I tap every time I leave the house to walk to class. So I'm gonna program this red tag here and the link to the Android app I'm using is down below. But basically what I'm gonna do is create a new task make it an NFC task, and then add the actions that I want to be associated with that task. And this is the whole list of all the things I can do to make this phone change or what I want it to do when it taps the NFC tag. So you can see it's a pretty awesome list. So when I leave the house, I want to crank the sound all the way up. I also want to maximize the screen brightness. And I also want to disable Wi-Fi since I'll be hopping onto a 4G network. So, but this is basically the huge list of all the things. You can see there's tasker integration, a whole bunch of different system settings, but I'll go ahead and crank Wi-Fi off, hit next, and then I'll make sure all the toggles are set to what I want it to do. So when I tap it, I want it to disable Wi-Fi. I want it to enable the vibrate mode for sound and crank the screen brightness to 100% when I walk outside. Once you've picked everything, this is what the tag is gonna do. Go ahead and save and write and swipe the tag onto the back of the phone. And as you can see, it was written successfully and we're done. So there you go. Now, whenever I leave the house with this guy in my back pocket, I can literally touch my phone to my butt and it'll do all these commands that I already programmed it to do. And uh, that's it. You're set. I'm set to go. So clearly NFC is awesome. So without any further ado, throwing at you with a quick top five. I know you didn't think this was a top five video, but let's go ahead and take a look at the top five awesome things that NFC can do. Number five, app launching. Let's say I stick one of these in my car dock. I can have it launch Google Maps when I put my phone in it. That simple, brilliant. Number four, at the bedside. And I actually use this one whenever I tap my phone to the NFC sticker next to my bedside, it dims the screen, silences the phone, and sets an alarm for the next morning that I have already predetermined. Number three is business cards. Now clearly, paper business cards, the traditional type, aren't really going anywhere anytime soon. And we've seen people attempt to put QR codes on the back. I don't really like those. But an NFC-enabled business card that takes the swiper right to your online resume or your website, would be pretty sick. Number two, boarding passes and transit tickets. Obviously, there are a whole bunch of different things that are awful about the system, at least in the United States, for boarding passes and transit tickets and getting paper and getting onto the transit that you need to get on. So having just the ability to swipe your phone and board the plane or swipe your phone and get on the train without having to worry about that is uh, definitely something we'd be looking forward to. Number one, mobile wallet. Having your phone be your wallet in your pocket without having to carry a whole bunch of cash or coins is awesome. Now, swiping your phone to pay at a McDonald's or a Dunkin' Donuts can either make you look like a complete idiot or a complete boss, depending on whether it works or not. But when it does work, like it did for me at a 7-Eleven a couple of weeks ago, you see that little Google Wallet logo, you swipe to pay and you start walking out the store, you automatically blow the mind of anyone who is in that store at that moment. Sometimes they don't actually realize that you just paid and they start to stop you like, hey, why are you walking out the store right now? And then you look back and it's processed, the payment is done, it came from your Google Wallet account. And speaking of Google Wallet, Google Wallet is basically on the forefront of pushing this technology, basically the mobile wallet stuff to be in the forefront. And that's why uh, Google's doing work right now. So those are your top five. Honorable mentions go to parking meters. Those would be cool. NFC enabled parking meters. So you could just pay with your phone because no one likes carrying coins around. They're incredibly cumbersome and just 
terrible. Another honorable mention goes to Android Beam because that's pretty much the easiest and most efficient way to share files, at least small ones, between devices. So if I want to share my file with you, I don't want to have to upload it somewhere for you to download it somewhere or email it to you or text it to you. That all just is an extra step I don't want to have to take. Here, let me just give you the file. Tap the backs of your phones together and uh, Android Beam takes right care of that. Uh, ever since Android 4.1, I believe, that's a new feature. So every Android phone with Android 4.1 or above has Android Beam enabled. So if it has NFC, just tap the back and send a picture or a video, whatever. And another honorable mention goes to car keys because how awesome would it be to just walk up to your car, pound it, and the door unlocks. That'd be sweet. Obviously, it wouldn't be the most convenient thing in the world because say you're in a rush and you just miss that exact right spot, but who cares? That's awesome. So clearly, I love NFC. I think it's a pretty underrated technology, and I've recently started using it more because I've found all the awesome things that it can do really enticing, so I'm getting more back into it. I have a lot of NFC tags, and uh, I definitely want to get more ideas from them. So definitely let me know, what are you guys using NFC for? Personally, I'm really just starting off with like, you know, leaving a house with an NFC tag or having it by the bedside, but let me know what you guys use. And uh, I'm sure you're watching this on an NFC enabled device. So go out and try to pay for something crazy with your phone, see what happens or, or don't either way. <laughs> Thanks for watching. And I will talk to you guys in the next video. Peace.